Hi everyone, Rachel here again from Darkroom Door and I'm going to do some gel printing again. This time I'm going to be using stencils. So first off, what we need is a brayer. <laughs> Let's get one out, shall we? I'm sure it's in here. Here it is, little guy. That'll do. And what I'll use now is a little bit of paint on the gel plate. Just putting a little bit on there, you don't need a lot. So I'm using Dina Wakely paints. This first one was lime, this second one is ocean. So just a little bit of paint on your gel plate and we'll roll that out. So you just want a smooth covering over your gel plate. The gel plate I'm using is from the Ranger three pack assortment um, pack. They've got three different sizes in that pack. So there's this one here, which fits really large tags um, and then there's another small circle which is this one here and then there's a smaller one which I don't have with me today but that fits like size 8 tags which is nice okay so there's our first little layer and I'm going to put on this is our new diamond stencil so this is a large size it also comes in a small size and I'm just going to grab some this is just some a little book of sheet music that I like to use as scrap paper because what I'll do now is just take off some paint so I want all the paint that's inside those diamonds to come off well not all the paint but the majority of it so that'll lift up so you can see there that's on the page there and then I'll just use this sheet here just as scrap paper so it can just be collage papers and I'll just keep going over that when I'm needing to pull paint off and use that for some other projects in my art journals. And now what I want to do is put on a contrasting colour onto the gel plate. I'll do a bit of pink. This colour here is magenta. And I'll do a little bit of cheddar. to roll off my brayer just so it's a clean one before I go and do the next brayering here over there okay so I'm just brayering on that paint so it's only going to go in obviously where the open areas are of the stencil Just covering the whole piece but my page isn't that large so you really only need to do the areas where you'll be using so you can see there now you've got your design and we will because I'm going straight into a journal I'm lifting the gel plate to the book but if you're just using a piece of paper you put the paper onto the gel plate press this down And then there you've created a really nice background now that we've got that one you can still make a second print because there's still plenty of paint on there I'll just do this one side by side so you see the difference between the first one and the second one so there's a second impression so you could just keep going until you've run out of paint basically from that gel plate and then because you've got all these little leftover bits on here this is when I'll get one of my journals so this is just a dialogue um, insert book where that I've just been working in all weekend and we will just find I'll do it on this page with a little flower just put that down there whoops and you never want to waste any paint so now we'll just stamp this onto various parts of the journal so that's just one little technique using the gel plate with these stencils there we go. and I can just keep creating borders with that around my little flower 
you go. Then you can clean that off and then you can continue adding to that if you like and turning that into a nice page. This is just um, the rest of my little book that we've been working on during Paperific. Just doing some watercolouring techniques, some little birdies. Again with the hexagons and the hearts. That's more gel printing, just using the dot stencil. Uh, that's scribble sticks there with some of the abstract stamps. Stenciling, that's another gel print, just using the polka dot stencil. Uh, more abstract stamps. And that's just brayering off whenever we've got the excess. Again, we've still got more diamonds paint left over. So you can see how you can just continue to add um, extra paint or the, you know, the little leftover bits of the paint to your backgrounds. And if your background gets a little bit wild and a bit dark and things and you think, well, how am I going to go over the top of that? Usually what I do is once it's built up, um, you know, a lot, I'll just whitewash over it with a you know diluted white paint and then it's ready it's like subtle you'll see those patterns come through subtly in the background and then you can write over the top or stamp over the top so there's probably a few again that's just one of those ones where I've gel printed and then I've just stenciled some flowers and then I can just write in there when I'm ready to journal and again just gel printing the excess around the thing and look at it just gives that really nice grungy look just a couple of stamps and that page is ready to write on. So another, that's another one, just stamping off from gel printing. And then again, another background, that's just done entirely with the abstract stamps. So, and just, yeah, pressing off any sort of excess. So that's just a couple of ideas, just using those stencils for gel plates. Hope you've enjoyed those techniques and you'll give them a go. If you need any of those stencils, check us out at darkroomdoor.com. Thank you, bye.